So what I would like to tell you right now, it takes about a minute to tell this story. My grandfather told me this story as a young boy, repeatedly on his knee, and as I got a little bit bigger, sitting on the porch in front of him, listening to him, the story of the ants and the grasshopper. Now, if you're a young person, you may have never heard this story exactly the way that I'm going to tell it to you, because it's been altered. It's been altered by people that didn't want people to feel too bad for the grasshopper. Some of you may never even heard the story of the ant and the grasshopper because it's considered too traumatic and too idealistic and too independent, and it doesn't, you know, begat the uh, beauties of socialism and sharing. All right? So here's the original version of the ant and the grasshopper. The ant and the grasshopper knew each other. They would, they, would, they would stay out in the field all day long in the summer, and it was beautiful, and it was a wonderful time of year, and there was plenty of food for everybody. Now, the grasshopper would get up, and he would eat some food, his grass, and then he would play all day long. He'd get a little bit more hungry. He'd eat some more food. And then toward the evening, he'd get hungry again. He'd eat some more. But mostly what he did all day long was he played, and he frolicked, and he hopped around in the grass. The ant would also eat whenever he was hungry, but through the rest of the day, instead of playing and frolicking, the ant spent most of his time gathering food and taking it back to his anthill and burying it in the ground and storing it for the winter. And the grasshopper used to yell to the ant, you're crazy, you're nuts. What's wrong with you? Why don't you enjoy life? Come play like me. And the ant said, grasshopper, winter's coming. When it comes, it's going to be very, very cold. You haven't even created a, a place for yourself to live where you'll be warm, much less saved yourself any food. My friend, you will die in the winter if you do not start taking life more seriously. And I do play, but I also work, and I store, and I save. And the grasshopper said, do what you like. The sky's not falling. I'm going to continue to play. As the fall came, it began to get cold, and it got colder and colder. And the grasshopper's life got harder and harder, but he still played and he still frolicked. And eventually a frost came and killed all the grass, and dropped all the leaves. And there was nothing for the grasshopper to eat. And the ant went into his hole where it was warm, and lived through the winter, content, happy, and snug in his hole, and the grasshopper died. Okay? That's the original story. That's how it ends. The grasshopper died. His failure to prepare, his failure to plan, his failure to work, being a lazy, lackadaisical, jovial jerk that wouldn't take advice from people that were working hard and saving, dies. Okay? That's the original story. Now, why is it important if that's the original story? Because the story's been amended over the years. I've seen in a book where the end of the story is the grasshopper's really cold, he's really miserable, and the ant brings the grasshopper into his home and shares his food with him. And the grasshopper learns next year to work hard and to, 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 to do the things that the ant did. What are the problems with this? One, kids ain't going to believe it. The first thing an ant would do with a grasshopper is eat them. All right? The grasshopper crawls into an ant mound. <laughs> In the wintertime, he's toast. He's going to get eaten. But the other side of this, you don't see any grasshoppers out there living that lifestyle, right? Grasshoppers continue to frolic, play, and eat. As they're supposed to do that. It's a fable. It's not reality, you know? But that's just that's their, that's their personality. That's what a grasshopper does. He jumps around and eats grass. An ant works diligently and stores up food. The ants live through the winter. The colony survives. The, the, the grasshoppers die. And it's probably going to be the point in the future where we're going to have some kind of story like the email joke that's gone around where, where you know, uh, Jesse Jackson comes and pickets the ant for being a racist and, uh, you know, Kermit the Frog seems it's not, seems it's not even just being green at a protest rally and, you know, people seize the ant's assets and redistribute them to the grasshopper and something like that. There's an email that went around like that. It's probably where this story is eventually going. My point is that the lesson was he died. We've taken that lesson away from our children. 